If you have digestive issues, some gut health problems, is that really gonna be connected to your hormones or any issues you'd be having with your hormones? Come on, it's your gut. How would that matter with your hormones? Well, there is actually a huge connection with your gut health and your hormones. Yes, your gut health is um, very key in how your body actually maintains your overall hormone levels. Now, this is really important to understand because a lot of times we feel like your gut is something separate, it's something I ate, it's not a big deal, and it really has a huge impact. So when we talk about hormones overall, your body maintains hormones, one, by producing them, but also by metabolizing them or detoxing them. And your liver actually processes the majority of your hormones, processes them out. And if your liver is not processing well and or your gut is not moving stuff through at a regular rate, that means that your body does not detox hormones at the level that they should. One of the main hormones hmm, that this happens with is actually estrogen. Oh, estrogen. Estrogen, if it is not detoxed properly, it can actually get reabsorbed in your system, which leads to excess estrogen issues, or as a lot of people will call it, estrogen dominance. Now, one of the things that we try to work with when we're working with hormone levels is to make sure your digestive system functions well. This is one of the things that we do in the Female Hormone Solution Program. So make sure you're going below this video, click the link, get on the wait list for the next program that we are launching because you do not wanna miss out making sure your hormones are maintained naturally because your digestive system is actually working the way that it should. One of my favorite things too is that Dutch test, which is included in this program, you get a test, we look at your hormones, we look at what your system is doing, there's actually a gut health indicator on this test as well. Yeah, so it gives us a really good insight as to whether or not your body is processing things correctly, not just with hormones, but with your gut. And if this is an area that needs to be addressed, then you get custom recommendations for just you with this data-driven approach of making sure you are getting all the things your system needs to work through these issues and get your body functioning better so you feel better. Now, gut health issues are one of the most common things that people will say is, oh my gosh, I get bloated every day or I get heartburn or I'm only going to the bathroom like twice a week. That's fine, right? No. Just because it's common or you've had it a long time does not mean it's normal and does not mean it's okay. So making sure your digestive system functions well is a really big deal. So some of the things that we do to make sure that your gut health is working properly. Um, these are just a few quick general things. Of course, when we work together, I can give you very specific things for you that will work really, really quickly. But in general, you're looking at taking out foods that would be inflammatory, things like excess sugars, gluten, dairy, things like that. You're also going to want to look at chewing your food. That means that when you eat, eat slowly, eat with purpose. Do not just hork it down to have a big glob of food that your stomach has to digest. Walking after you eat is also really, really helpful. That way you're not just sitting there watching TV on the couch after you have a really big dinner and everything just kind of sits and festers in your stomach. You want to walk to make sure that that stuff moves through. Now, are probiotics and enzymes really helpful? They can be, but again, you want to make sure that if you are incorporating something like a probiotic or an enzyme, that it's actually something that your system needs. And again, by looking at what your body really needs for you when we look at hormone testing, that's actually the most insight you can get into whether or not you should be trying something or whether or not you're just kind of wasting your money on something that's not actually the right fit for what your system needs. So. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. You can put comments below. I do check the comments and I do reply to them as often as I can. I do have other resources for you if you are looking for resources. I have my books, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon, The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon. And then of course I have some of my favorite supplements that I have formulated for the female body. This detox supplement, very helpful for liver specifically, which can help you go to the bathroom more regularly. That's actually one of the most common things that I hear when people start taking this is they're like, oh, woo, this is, it's, I mean, it's not like running to the bathroom, but they're like, yeah, I really would have a hard time going. And now I go regularly once a day. It's fantastic. Um, and then I have my whole line of tinctures for metabolism, for your adrenals, um, for menopause, and then the estro balance and progesterone balance. These are fantastic to help balance your system overall, especially while you're trying to level out your hormones and work on your gut. These are great to layer in to make sure your system is functioning properly. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will see you later.